In this online lecture, we're going to discuss the most important principle of aromatic compounds. We're going to see key point number one, aromatic compounds have unusually large resonance energies. We're also going to see too that aromatic compounds are uniquely stable. So let's prove this actually experimentally here. If you remember, there was a reaction we learned a long time ago, and that was if you take an alkene and react it with H2PDC, you would get this as a product. The double bond is simply reduced to a single bond. And this right here happens to be the actual change in enthalpy for this reaction. It's negative 120 kilojoules per mole, which remember means this reaction gives off 120 kilojoules per mole of reactant. Remember, the enthalpy of reaction is a good way to judge how stable a certain molecule is. If a molecule gives off a lot of energy in a reducing reaction like this, it means that the original molecule was very unstable. It was high energy, and that's why when it reacted, it gave off a lot of energy. And vice versa, if a molecule in this reaction only gives off a little bit of energy, then it was probably pretty stable to begin with. It didn't have a lot of energy, so it didn't give a lot of energy off when it reacts. But notice, let's say we took this molecule right here and we ran it through the same reaction. Notice in this molecule it has three double bonds, so we would need three H2s in a catalyst. If we were to look at the change in enthalpy of this reaction right here, the expected should be this. We should get three times negative 120 kilojoules per mole. Simply because, remember, this molecule has three double bonds and the top one just has one double bond and 3 times negative 120 happens to be negative 360 kilojoules per mole. But here's the reality. The actual enthalpy for this reaction is negative 208 kilojoules per mole. Notice it means it gives off a lot less energy than what we would expect. And remember, giving off a lot less energy means that this molecule is more stable than we originally thought it would be. We're going to see that's because this molecule is aromatic. So, aromatic compounds have this unusual stability about them. We're going to see this means they react a lot differently from what we would expect as well. So, that's really all there is to know here. Key points number one, aromatic compounds have unusually large resonance energies. And remember, having a large resonance energy means that you are very stable. And also, two here, aromatic compounds are uniquely stable. And that's actually because of key point number one.